can't fault it. Beyonce featuring Walter Williams. He still loves me. We're moved. You're moved. We're all moved. 6.43. Starting your day on 959. We must thank you for waking up and starting your day on 959. One who is also starting her day on 959 this morning is none other than Boomy Lee. <laughs> Yes, all for, all for absolutely, you. all for you. So she's a digital queen that is a thriving in the online space for a while now. For a minute mm-hmm. now, you've been thriving in the online space, yeah. particularly YouTube, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You you blazed a trail for everyone else. You're part of those that blazed a trail in South Africa. Yeah, I could yeah. look at it that in way. In essay, yeah. in essay. Uh, she is Mpumila Dwaba, and uh, she's a mom, a wife. More than that, she's absolutely entrepreneurial, 110%, actually more. Um, digital entrepreneur, you dropped your dream of being an accountant, and you made your time online count. And beyond that, do we say the rest is history? The rest is history. I wouldn't I wouldn't say my dream of being an accountant because I don't yeah. know if it was actually a dream. But yeah. What was it? Was it a safety thing? Was it a thing that you used to impress your parents? And sort keep the of. Noise down? It's such a long story. But now after therapy, I figured mm-hmm. out that... So I was good in accounting until mm-hmm. I wrote a test that I prepared for and then I got 46%. Ooh. Sure. And the teacher read it out loud. To everybody else. To everybody else. That is but she was so reading everybody else's marks okay. and then mine and everybody did really well. And I normally did well. And then I got forty six percent. And I think that was such a trauma moment for me because I was so humiliated and oh, I didn't shame. understand because oh. I'm an achiever. Yeah. And so I think my whole career choice was based on that moment because from there I decided I am going to kill this accounting thing of which I did I really really did I mean by matric I went out with 79% just by 1% yeah I wanted a distinction and then I thrived even in varsity in accounting got a bursary so yeah did you ever have a career as an accountant? no not as an accountant but as a banker um, Mm -hmm. at Investec which was because it was I was still hadn't graduated yet. yeah so Mm. I knew that I had a future and then and while I spent my year there, I was like, actually, no. What was the turning point? Um, the actually no moment when you looked at it all and you're like, actually, no. You know, there wasn't one specific moment. Mm-hmm. It was God speaks, guys. And we just yeah. we just ignore like your heart, your spirit mm-hmm. really speaks. And I knew that I'm in the wrong place. Um, but I think I did also need to be there. I got some good lessons. But I found myself while working, thinking of all my businesses, uh, watching um, Sarah Jakes, Heather Lindsay, yeah. T.D. Jakes, my yeah. favorite speakers, reading books. And I just knew that actually. And also, I couldn't be creative. I, I couldn't speak up. I was extremely shy and reserved mm-hmm. at work. And I just couldn't be myself. And I knew that. I don't belong here. So then the passion for what you currently do, where, where did that come in? You know, I'm assuming it was still when you were still in the, the financial sector. Um, yes, no. I've always been passionate about speaking. Um, I was just born a speaker, but mm. I didn't think it's a career. Yeah. Like you yeah, don't wake yeah, up thinking, yeah, oh, I'm yeah. going to be a speaker. Um, so which is one of uh, the big things I do. And then the digital space, I don't know if it existed when I was in, in, in finance um, mm-hmm. or when I was growing up. They, I didn't know those terms. So it happened to me. It's just following the flow of life, following mm-hmm. my journey. I mean, I started by having a cleaning business and then I had a beauty business. I remember and the beauty business. Yes, yeah. and through my beauty business, because I interacted one-on-one um, with women, I, I realized how much I love speaking and imparting something in people and listening mm-hmm. to people's stories. And yeah, the journey has unfolded nat- uh, naturally. Yeah. Tell me, do you ever walk barefoot? Yes. I did yesterday. Randomly. You did yesterday. Yes, yes. Do you walk barefoot only at home or can you walk Ooh, in public? Only at home, please. Barefoot. Yeah. Only at home, please. Only, only Why at home. not in public? <laughs> Uh, because people throw their stumpies on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, there you go. See, you put da capo on something, and to me, it just it's magical. Yet I'm I quite like it. Love it a lot. Uh, Duduzo, Makatini. Nice one, sir. We love it. So the remix with da capo, 655 on the street on the air, 959 breakfast. And Pumi Ladwaba starting her day at 959. Listen, I mean, we're talking off air, and I mean, I, you just threw your age out there, and I'm shocked. <laughs> you, you're only 28. Yeah. You decide to tell your parents that this is what I'm doing, and you have to take responsibility. So yeah. I didn't have the option of 
I did but didn't have the option of going home and being a kid again. I had to really grow up very fast. Yeah. Um so yeah. Marriage happened quickly for you? Marriage happened. Uh, How long have you been married now? I'm going on 6 years um in January. So I got married yeah. at 22 a week before I turned 23. That's so sweet. Yeah. That's so sweet. Do you think you've married your soulmate? 100%. Yeah. How did you meet him? Was it through music? Through Twitter. <laughs> oh, you guys met on Twitter. Twitter. In the DMs. Twitter. So that's pay to slide on, in the no, DMs. On the, on the, is it the TL? Yeah. On the, on the t- timeline, on yeah. On the timeline and yeah. then it went to the DMs. And then when we, Twitter was still nice. When Twitter was still a very friendly place. Yes. Um, and then from there, and then we lost contact. And then we met um, at an event he was performing at. I was invited to. We both didn't know we were going to be there. And then yeah. we both arrived late and parked next to each other. And then he was blown away. That is like, wow. a, that, that's literally like a page from a romantic love story. 100%. Like a movie. 100%. <laughs> And she, together since she who finds a husband is worthy of praise she what she who find okay don't do that <laughs> <laughs> i'm also like don't do that. should i roll my eyes should i keep quiet like, should please? i just ignore it should i move on <laughs> On the street, on the air, everywhere. That's how we roll. So, guys, guess the soccer player using the following clues and you can stand yourself a chance to win, right? I hope you're listening. So, you're listening. I'm Afro listening. Ladwaba, how much yeah. do you know about sports? I think Sam, I have nothing. <laughs> <Man. Yo. laughs> so, this player is a talented Orlando Pirates attacking midfielder who earned the nickname Nyoso, but also that nickname. Nyoso. <laughs> <laughs> Also that nickname. So he earned the nickname Nyoso when he kicked off his uh, career. Uh, DJ Maporisa and Gabs at a Small released an Ama Piano song in 2019. Do you know? Inspired by and named after him. Um, who is he? Do you know? No, I don't. You don't know? No, you don't I'm, listen to Ama Piano? No, not like that. I'm not even going to pretend. You don't okay. know the guy who passed him and he called him Nandi? Oh. Ah. Eh, 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 eh. Now you know, right? Okay, okay. Nicely done, so nicely done. At least give me... I know it. That was just a clue. I know, but now I don't have it in my head anymore, but I know it. You know it, right? Alrighty, so the rest of you go ahead and visit kai959.co.za to share your answer. We know the answer. I definitely know the answer. How can you not know? How can you not know this guy? <laughs> Alrighty, 22 after 7. Thank you so much once again for starting your day on 959 with us. Uh, let's talk about the commercial side to the digital currency. Um, Creatives, right? Yeah, um, yeah. That's your agency, right? Yeah. Uh, do you monetize your content as in you charge uh, the likes of your YouTube account uh, to be, or you charge um, advertisers to be yeah. on the likes maybe per se of your YouTube account or uh, your Instagram and so forth and is it strictly partnerships and influence work when do you what what formula and methods do you use to cost and so monetize the, so there's so many ways um to actually monetize the our platform firstly on YouTube there's AdSense where um YouTube um basically places ads mm-hmm. um and then there's partnering up with brands which is always amazing and then now there's memberships um where it kind of belongs to me i have control over how much i can make um based on how much input i'm i'm putting in you know how much i'm going to give to my audience mm-hmm. and then on Instagram um it's mostly with brand partnerships mm-hmm. But um what I've done now is basically monetize my own brand. So I'm no longer dependent on brands to come on board and say, "Hey, can we partner?" Mm-hmm. But I've got my own thing. I just did um courses, a journal, and I use my Instagram platform and my YouTube channel um to basically sell those things. So Beautiful. should inst- and I've got email marketing as well. Mm-hmm. So you're merchandising. I'm now. merchandising. Mm-hmm. So should mm-hmm. Instagram and YouTube shut down, I've got a database and there's a way wow. that I can still um make money from my digital platform. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're 28 and I read somewhere that you made your first million by the age of 27 uh shout out on that yeah. big shout out big shout out what would you say ha- has been you know uh, uh, some of the stuff that made you different that made you able to make this a success because there are many people within the space but they're not they can't say stuff like they made their first million at mm. 27 or yeah. at all in fact at all. yeah yeah um i think i take things uh very seriously accounting um played a, a huge role and and doing business as a module was a big one and growing up in a family where we 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 business oriented was really helpful so everything i go into it's a it's a business yes i'm taking a picture but it's it's my business how much mm-hmm. am i making it's no longer how many followers do i have what value you do I add mm. so and just looking at all my platforms you know 
how do I best monetize my platforms? Then there's speaking engagements. There's all sorts of ways. But the most important is that there's a plan. I have goals. I'm like, all companies do have they have projections i've got Mm, projections mm, so it's really treating everything like a business i would say the background in accounting um it seems like it instilled an additional discipline discipline yeah yeah outside of obviously the environment that you were raised in yeah um but it does seem that way a whole lot of discipline and i believe i speak a lot about discipline even finances because in 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 our industry you know that you can make money easy just like that Mm -hmm. but it's how it's how much you keep yeah Yeah. because we can all make money but how much do you actually keep Keep how much do you actually invest in yeah because it doesn't help if i've made my first million at 27 but at 28 29 featured on i blew it a yeah. penny saved is a penny <laughs> earned, they say, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, what what uh, fields or different fields does uh, um, Bumili Dabba Creatives, you know, operate under? And how many other things do you still want to do or different stuff? I know you've got a podcast with yeah. your husband. Yeah. By the way, congrats, <laughs> DSTV Content Creators hey, Podcast, well best podcast in SA. Well done, well done, congrats, well done. thank you. Why that smile? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud thank of you. Thank you, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's the podcasting space, and I think you both, you know, we've started it when we had to define what's a podcast in South Africa Mm. um, before you can even talk up tell people to go there and so it's we always forecast and look at where the industry is actually going so when i started my youtube channel it was vlog based and motherhood but then i realized i'm such a private person putting myself out there like that doesn't work for me then we realized oh no but i love interviewing people let's mm-hmm. take it there and now you see youtube is starting to also become that space as yeah. well um and then there's a the speaking engagements and then what i also do is consult for for brands um brands bringing me in okay what does the industry um, Um, the influencer industry look like in the next two years or so consulting Mm -hmm. and now I've got clients who say actually can you run this campaign for us so now I'm coming up with the marketing ideas so I'm not just the the end um person who just stands with the brand but is actually coming up with the concept understanding wow. the entire process it's very important whatever field you're in to understand from the beginning from the contracts from yeah. the every party play it, it plays a role i think you are the truest definition of what influencer should be understood as where you can step into a corporate space yes. and influence yeah. the decisions they make yeah. and how they interact with their end user, 100%. their consumer. 100%. And I think that's how influencers should be understood. Not a person living a fake life on Instagram selling fake products yeah. and, 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 and. Yeah. Well, not necessarily fake products, but in, you know this term influencer? Yeah. It's right now, it's almost like, okay, let's just get Dineo to convince people that this product and works. And that's it, yeah. And then that's yeah. it. I think it's very important for agencies for advertisers for um, corporate clients to understand their audience better Better. and start employing and outsourcing services of the likes of you who actually spend time with those audiences so that you can really influence how they interact Mm. I call myself myself a storyteller so you can't just come with me with a brand and say this is your brief etc no I have to tell a story I have to I have to bring people into my life I need them to understand um, what this brand is all about so in all my work I know when I uh, I'm not a storyteller I haven't done my best it's because I just took something and went with it but the most most important is to s- tell the story and allow people to identify with the specific brand, with the specific conversation, with the specific person mm-hmm. I bring onto my platform. So it's a whole process. It's not mm-hmm. just posing with a picture or doing a, 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 a reel, but it's there's story, there's research, and there's understanding brand identity. There's thought process behind thought process, it, right? Yeah. You've got a music career as well, um, as well as your husband. Yes. I wouldn't call it a music career. Yeah. Um, for me, I support Free to Worship, which is my husband's platform. He's a musician yes. I just happen to know how to say Brendan Praise Brendan yes. Praise yeah. yes. it's crazy his surname <laughs> is Praise right no no no, not a, no Le Duaba Le Duaba yes, yeah yes, 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 Le Duaba, but yes. then also his um, what Middle I meant to say was uh, his, his, his brand surname his yes, brand, brand surname, surname. Yeah. 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 yeah 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 his brand surname yeah. is Praise and he's yeah. truly all about worship 100% wow. um, Praise and worship even yeah. his his house music is literally Praise and Worship Praise and Worship and you see people really there's a spiritual connection in the mm-hmm. music that he does so i i have the gift of singing i'm not so i not i don't want a career in singing but mm. I, I i support him and i believe in what he does and if i'm needed look i will show up oh, what's your favorite lovely. song of brendan praise 
favorite song um sure he just he's got some new music right now um i know which one you're going to pick which one can i guess, guess the one he did with um kasango no oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. no 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 no, no. Mm-hmm. there's a song he just did with murder uh-huh. um I don't know if it has a title yet. Murder bongs. Murder bongs. Mm. Why well, it's in one of his? Yes. It's in one. It's in one of his reels. I don't know if it mm. has a, a title yet, but it's basically a broken down song. So that's one of my favorite songs. Um, he obviously it. sings in 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 Tonga. Yes. Wow. And which other song? Yeah, that's literally she, my favorite song at the moment. Yeah. She yeah. tends to always make magic with black motion because yeah. I mean my favorite is Joy Joy yeah. with Murder yeah. Bongs. Yeah. I love Joy Joy, Joy, Joy as well. Joy. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. love yeah. it. Um, yeah, I think they just have that connection they friends they have a relationship yeah. oh. so the creation process is 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 amazing it's, and it's organic right? oh it's the most beautiful yeah. thing to experience where do you, uh, brands find you and what kind of brands should be looking at you Oh, what kind of brand should be looking at me? I think brands who who believe and stand for something, um, who have a story and who are about the people. Mm-hmm. Um, but brands can find me on my on my page, Mpumi underscore Ladwaba. I've got all my booking details in there on email. Um, but yeah, I, I think right now I'm already connected with brands that I are, are, are fully invested um, in me and I'm mm-hmm. focusing a lot on my own personal brand, Wisdom and Wellness. Mm-hmm. We're growing a wellness hub in Africa. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's what I'm focused on. Beautiful stuff. Thank you so much for starting your day on 959. Am I done? You're absolutely There's done. There's no yeah. way. You're yep. absolutely There's done. No it way. feels like it should go what? on, right? Yeah. I know. That's how a lot of people that come onto the show, by the time they're done, they yeah. don't want to yeah, leave. Like, I feel like you're chasing me away. Why can't I yeah. stay the whole time? Don't Listen. worry. A lot of them hang, hang around a lot know, of in them the hang studio around. until like 8, half okay. 8. A lot yeah. of them hang around. We get, we get so much stuff done off air. So we're going to play games, take photographs, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Before the on air side of the fence, thank you. Thank you. It was really great chatting to you and getting to know you a little better. Thank you, guys. Mafrau Ledwaba. It's a start your day at 959, wrapped up with Mbumi Ledwaba. Let's go to your news desk.